right now um chlorine okay we know it has seven valence electrons and this is the important part how do you figure out what type of ion it forms well let's look at it in two ways it wants to get to eight electrons there are two ways you can get to eight you have seven valence electrons now do you notice chlorine has an energy level above it yeah. it has 2s and 2p above it if you were to take this down to zero valence electrons if you basically got rid of all of those and went back to this energy level well you would have eight valence electrons and what I mean by that is if you look at its electron configuration right here if you got rid of the 3s and 3p then you would have eight valence electrons but that's a lot of energy that it takes to remove seven valence electrons there's an easier way to do this too all you've got to do instead you can subtract seven or you can just add one so which one do you think naturally it's going to do it's going to it's, it's going to add one because that's by far the easiest so so you add one electron that becomes then it then becomes an ion now we know it normally has seven valence electrons you add one well, remember, when you add an electron, what happens? It's, it's the opposite of addition when you write the actual ion. So it becomes a negative one ion. Chlorine becomes a negative one ion because you've added an electron. You've added a negative charge. So you now have 17 protons and 18 electrons. Use it. So, you know, remember how we used to do that thing with, like, uh, comics mass and stuff? Like how we do, like, negative one, which is really an extra electron. Is that, like, what it is? So that's, that's it exactly. Same, Same deal. Thing? Yeah. That's it. That's it exactly. Now, let's look at oxygen. Oxygen has six valence electrons. We'll kind of right there running out of space. Six valence electrons. It can lose six electrons or gain two. What's it going to do? Gain. It's going to do the easiest path. It's going to gain two electrons. So that becomes negative two. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, Batul. So it turns into neon? Yeah. Well, actually, if it's oxygen, yeah, neon. Yes. Now, Let's look at nitrogen. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. It wants to get to eight. Is it gonna, what's it gonna do? It's gonna add three electrons, which means you end up with a negative three charge. Okay, you're getting this. Now, look at carbon and silicon, germanium, all those, okay? This could be plus four or minus four. Um, I'm not going to make a big deal out of it right now that you know which one does what, because in truth, like carbon and silicon, carbon almost never forms an ion, ever really. It just doesn't. Silicon can be a plus four, never really does though either. We're never going to deal with it in here. I mean, a little bit. These three though, germanium, tin, and lead. Notice those are all either a metalloid or a metal, right? Okay, tin and, and lead being the most obvious metals there. Those are going to be generally positive. Those will usually be a positive four, but I'm not, I'm not making you memorize it because they also can form positive two ions. So it's kind of a, basically don't worry about the fourth, the fourth one right now. Don't worry about this column yet. We will get a lot into that in the exceptions and stuff later on. So if they, like, there's a worksheet, what does it do? Just understand it can be plus four or minus four. Uh, if you look at boron, three valence electrons. Now, in this case, is it easier to add five electrons or subtract three? three. Subtract three, so what's it become? Positive. Plus three. Because you're removing right. three negatives. You're removing three negative charges, so you would have, it's five, it's, well, let's look at aluminum. It's got an atomic number of 13, so you remove three electrons, you've only got ten electrons left. That's why it's plus three. Then over here, you're starting to see the pattern now, obviously, right? Transition metals are generally 
Yeah. Generally, plus two. But there are a ton of exceptions in here. A ton of exceptions. We will. I'm going to give you a sheet that tells you every charge, everything in here, which, which you'll be able to use on all tests, everything. So don't worry about that. Over here, plus two, plus one. The reason being, two valence electrons, obviously it's a lot easier to remove two than add six, and even easier to remove one rather than adding seven. 